market update time. Yes, I'm bringing the energy because the numbers suck. Whew. But I'm gonna try not to overreact here for you. Uh, Ryan Martin here with Pippa Properties, uh, Keller Williams Evolution here, um, Boston's scenic, beautiful, historic North Shore, uh, bringing you the numbers for Salem, Beverly, Peabody, Danvers. What are we looking at? Uh, if these are communities that you live in or are interested in, obviously this is for you. However, if you're just interested in greater Boston, this is also a really good snapshot about what's going on in the area in general. Uh, even talking to you know my colleagues out in the field, whether it's you know Metro West, South Shore, or up here in the North Shore, uh, we're kind of looking at the same thing. Um, we just do a deep dive into the numbers so we can pay attention to those trends. So, we can give the numbers, give a little bit of a reality check, and then we're gonna send you on your way. Single families in those four towns, right now, today, uh, January 26th, just pulled the MLS. Last week, we had 18. This week, we're down one to 17 single family homes. You know, we're looking at, you know, nearly 200,000 uh, people and we have uh, 17 single family homes. It's a really low number. I will remind you that in even in like PBD, which your population a little over 50,000 people, last year at this time, there were periods of, uh, you know, weeks where they had zero single family. So um, when we compare it to overall picture, this is not great. That being said, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> um, condos, last week we were at 27, down to 22. Multifamilies, last week we were at five, this week we are at five. One uh, of those five is a deal that had been under agreement, fell apart, and that property went back on the market. Uh, and one of the, um, the Salem multifamilies went off the market. So it's not the same five. That being said, there were no new, brand new listings hitting the market um, in the multifamily uh, space. Uh, very few condos and very few single families obviously hit the market. And one reason for that is the snow apocalypse coming, the snowmageddon, uh, or it could just be flurries. I don't know. Uh, we're recording this on a Wednesday. News is by Friday night, Saturday. We might be looking at a, a relatively large snowstorm. If you go to the grocery store right now, I'm sure it's going to be like a mosh pit. And I'm just realizing I have to go get diapers. So I'm not super enthusiastic about this now that I think about it. I digress though, it does impact uh, real estate though. People that might have been willing to put their home on the market today are quite likely sitting with their agents and saying, why don't we wait a week or two uh, and you know see what the weather is like then? Because the concern for a lot of people is that we, a lot of our home buyer population is coming out of Boston and they won't be able to or won't be willing to drive up during or after a snowstorm, uh, especially in some of these more historic communities where the streets are a little narrow, a little tight, uh, and it's difficult to park. So um, th that that is a reality that we are facing. Um, you know, it happens. So well, one of the reasons why we do these videos every week is so we can kind of pay attention to the trends. And I do like to remind folks of what we call like small sample sizes uh, that you know there are you know small little you know tremors both up and down and try to give a reason for that uh, and sometimes you know there are, there isn't necessarily a reason I am saying this week though we got a reason which is a snowstorm so hope everybody survives it well uh, and we'll see you guys next week